time and cash limits to enforcing a night ban. The Tamil Nadu Online Gaming Authority is proposing new rules and measures to combat online gaming addiction. The proposals come after a survey of 1,50,000 children conducted by the authority. In fact, uh, under the proposed rules, players may be restricted to spending no more than 5,000 per day and 20,000 per month on gaming platforms. Gamers may be restricted to four hours a day, with each session capped at two hours. A ban from midnight to 5 a.m. is also being considered. Additionally, mandatory Aadhaar verification is expected to be introduced for all registrations on these platforms. The survey highlighted a loophole where a one-time password requirement for registration allowed children to misuse their parents' phones and continue access online games late at night. So this is essentially what we're looking at as far as strong measures being taken by the Tamil Nadu gaming body. Um, in fact, let's also tell you uh, with those measures that are coming into force clearly with that to combat gaming addic addiction that is. Taking that point across to Varshini Ramu, my colleague. Varshini, good morning. These are strong measures, of course, being taken, especially in, um, you know, a time and age where you do understand this technology is available, but there's a very thin line between a boon and a bane and an addiction. We're looking at what has been proposed, but how is this being navigated, rather? Uh, well, you see, there is uh, always the Tamil government, particularly the DMK government, has been very constantly, uh, you know, trying uh, and taking efforts in ensuring that uh, the online gaming is uh, being uh, restricted. Particularly, a lot of regulations is being uh, brought in. In fact, we saw a bill being passed in the assembly, and then even the governor give, had given assent to ban certain uh, acts and also bring in a lot of regulations. And in that way, the Tamil Nadu Online Gaming Authority was also formed last year. And now we can see more and more regulations being brought in by the Tamil Nadu government. And in fact, uh, this time around, there are uh, some uh, really uh, unexpected uh, things that are being brought in, like cash limits, like verification requirements, uh, and also about uh, the time uh, limit also is being brought in. Before, uh, uh, implementation of this is only is going to be very you know, interesting to watch because uh, monitoring every single player uh, playing these games online is going to be a very big task and uh, the Tamil Nadu government is very hopeful and very uh, confident in uh, pulling this off is what we are able to hear from, uh, you know, people who work in the Tamil Nadu Online Gaming Authority. And uh, like we can see, there are also uh, awareness programs being conducted by the Tamil Nadu Online Gaming Authority for schools, colleges, where young children who are exposed to a lot of... Uh, uh, you know, smartphones and gaming, uh, uh, online games, and that is also being conducted uh, by the Tamil Nadu Online Gaming Authority. Therefore, the government is trying its best to ensure that this does not affect the people because the number of suicides reported in Tamil Nadu uh, because of uh, gambling online is also very high, and that is why this kind of a very strict measure is being undertaken by the government. So one can only hope at this point that they will be able to put it off and ensure the safety of the people, uh, particularly people below age and also people, um, you know, who are addicted to online gaming and gambling as well. Right, Varshini. Thank you very much for not only getting us the latest as far as what we're given to understand, but why, importantly, uh, this was decided to be taken up by the state government. Having said that, that's all that we have the time.